hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be doing one of my favorite types of videos to watch on youtube which is um luxury wish list so today we are going to be talking about my birthday luxury wish list my birthday is less than two months away i'm super excited this is my last year in the decade 30s so i'm kind of excited kind of nervous because you know how you always birthdays are always an opportunity to reflect on where you are in life so um i'm excited but then i'm also nervous at the same time so let's jump right in so for my luxury wish list for my birthday i actually took my 2021 wish list and kind of focused it down more when i made my 2021 luxury wish list i guess i thought that i was married to scarface or i was tasha st patrick because the list was absolutely ridiculous so i have since um focused it a bit more divided it into categories and um earlier this week i you know, I was just having some girl chat with one of my girlfriends and she actually helped me to focus it down to um, two items. So we will get started. Enough rambling. I have it written down in my trusty planner and we will go ahead and get started. I will either pop pictures up here or here so you can see what the items are that I am referring to. So the first category um, is handbags. I do love handbags. I'm a handbag person. And I do want to give you guys this disclaimer. You know how people get on here and say, oh, I'm not really like into logos and um, things of that nature. Um, yeah, I'm into logos. I have no shame about being into logos. <laughs> I've always been into logos um, ever since I can't remember myself. So I'm not going to get on here and lie and tell you that I don't love an all over logo anything. So um, just want to give you that disclaimer. So the first item is the Celine, I believe it's pronounced the Triumph Logo Tote. Um, I love, 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 love this bag. I love the shape of the bag. The shape of the bag reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Sac Plat before they came out with the i can't remember what the exact sizing louis vuitton calls it but it's kind of like the a mini version of the sac plat that's all the rage now at louis vuitton that um, many people have gotten it's always sold out they had a large standard size sac plat um and it was just the perfect looking tote for work for travel depending on how you love to travel and so I'm in desperate need of a new bag and this one for me is perfect. So I um, am interested in getting that bag. I actually saw it first on this Instagram page that I became so obsessed with. The young lady is so, so fly. Her Instagram page is Hint of Glamour if you're into fashion and you are looking for some inspiration. She has a fabulous Instagram page. She hasn't posted since December, so I'm a bit worried because it is April, but her page is still active and the pictures and just her imagery is just a bomb. So she was the first person that I actually saw um, rocking this bag and I was like, ooh, I have to have to have this as my work bag. So that's item number one. Item number two is the Fendi Mon Tresoir, and hopefully I'm pronouncing these items correctly, bucket bag in pink and green. Um, if you know me, you know anything that's pink and green or has pearls, I need it in my life. Um, so love this bag. I feel like I need it for my AKA conferences. I feel like I need it for casual AKA out, um, just outfits and events. It just is um a great looking it's a cute bag it's slightly trendy but i feel like um i could still have this item for like years to come so it's trendy with a little bit of like classic mixed in so that is the second item on the list so the third item on the list is something that i have been lusting over for months like i literally go to the website probably several times a day if not like once a day um and look at the item and it is the van cleef and arpels alhambra necklace so the reason why i go to the website daily is because there are two 
size options. There's the sweet Alhambra and there is the vintage Alhambra. Both are tiny, but um, one of course is a bit larger than the other, but the price difference is astronomical. I want to say the difference between the sweet and the vintage, which the vintage is the larger um, motif, is over a $1,000. Um, so it's just me like narrowing down, like, are you gonna get the smaller version for cheap or are you going to get the larger version? Um, and so just trying to decide and also just trying to um, remind myself too that I do love to layer necklaces. Like, as you can tell here, I'll wear three, four necklaces. That's not a problem. So the daintier the necklace, actually the better for me. So. Um, that item is on my wish list and I have honestly been obsessed with it for months. So I'm also trying to do a better job this year of building my fine jewelry collection so that I can have things to pass down to my nieces. If the Lord ever blesses me with a daughter, my daughter. Um, so I'm trying to stray away from buying more costume jewelry pieces and get into more fine jewelry pieces. So the Van Cleef and Arpels is on my list like the top of my list so the next item the next two items are accessories something else that i've got into recently are sunglasses so i was never like a huge 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 sunglasses person like i owned a pair or two of sunglasses but recently I have realized that sunglasses can elevate any look. Like if you run to the store and you're looking super bummy, you could throw on a pair of sunglasses and you could um, look like a superstar. Um, recently I got my second chemical peel and you guys can probably tell that I have some uh, bruising along my eye. Um, I'm so anxious to get back to my follow-up appointment to figure out why that is and what needs to happen to not look like I got punched in the eye. But my sunglasses were super, super helpful for just running errands while I looked crazy without anybody having to like um, stop and stare and wonder what was going on with me. So um, these are a pair of Gucci sunglasses. I do not remember the exact name of the sunglasses. Um, I just know that they're all gold and they just look like they'll go with everything. And then on the side, they have the Gucci logo with the red and green coloring. So I'll pop up a picture so you can see that. And then the next item is a Valentino V logo belt. So I actually started looking at these belts around Christmas time when I was figuring out what to get myself for Christmas. Um, never pull the trigger because they are pretty pricey. However, the reason why they're pricey is because most of their belts are reversible. So you're really getting two belts for the price of one. And of course, your cost per wear is going to increase with something like a reversible leather, all leather belt. So I kind of had it at the back of my mind after Christmas, never purchased it. And then one day, one of my favorite influencers, and she actually has a YouTube channel, that's the bomb, Tanika B, posted a picture of herself in a bright pink, um, extra large Valentino V logo belt. And I fell in love. So one side of the belt is bright pink. The other side is a wine color. And I know you guys are thinking that um, that's not really like a neutral color or why would I get such an outlandish color? But I'll be very, very honest with you. Like I said before, anything pink and green or with pearls, I need it. So pink for me is a neutral and I will rock some bright pink, light pink. I'll make it work with most, almost anything. So um, I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it. And then the wine color just seems so rich and perfect for the fall and winter time. So um, I've added that to my list and um, hopefully that will be one of the items that I'm able to purchase. I'm not sure yet. Um, like I said, I narrowed it down to two items, but I'll share with you guys what those items are once I finally purchase. Um, and then the last on my list is a pair of Manolo Blahnik Hengisi Pump. I have been, this item has actually been on my wish list for consecutively for probably since the Sex and the City movie came out, which I believe was in, 
I don't remember guys, but like mid 2000s when Carrie um, got those blue shoes. I have been in love with those shoes ever since. Um, as far as color, I am looking to get a bright color. Um, I'm loving the super bright pink version. I'm also loving the yellow version. Um, and the more and more I think about it, I do love yellow. As you can see today, I have on my yellow dress. I'm about to go to brunch with some of my um, line sisters. My first time in a restaurant since um, COVID. So that should be interesting. So yellow, I just feel like is a magical color for black girls. So I'm looking at those pumps in either the pink or the yellow. But I'm not quite sure which one I'll be able to get. Because it is such a popular item, it tends to sell out super quickly. Um, so I've just been having my eye on that. But um, that's been on my wish list for such a long time. I would love to, love to, love to have a pair. And then the great thing that I've always heard about them is because they're not super high, I've heard that um, they are relatively comfortable compared to, you know, other pumps of that style. So... Those are the items on my wish list that I've narrowed down for my birthday coming up in two months. If you guys are interested in figuring out what my entire wish list is, then post a comment and I'll be more than happy to share the full list. But prepare yourself because we could be here for um, over an hour because I do have a lot of items on the wish list. Like I, I'm absolutely ridiculous. Like. You, have you ever heard that saying, all I want is everything? Well, that's me. So hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you come back to see what are the items I was able to purchase on my birthday luxury wish list. Um, and if you stuck around this long with me, please don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and leave me a comment. Have you guys made a luxury wish list for this year? Do you have a birthday coming up or a special event coming up that you plan on gifting yourself something for? What are those items on your list? Leave me a comment below and let me know. All right. Talk to you soon.